Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can install and use the Chest Shop plugin. This plugin allows you to sell and buy stuff from chests and signs, and would be a great addition to something like an SMP. So, let's get right into it. So if you go to the link in the description, you'll be taken to the Chest Shop bucket page, and we're simply going to click Download Latest File, and this will be from 1.13 upwards. If you're running a version below 1.13, if you scroll down, there's also a 1.12.2 version version and a 1.8.8 version but we're going to use the latest one so click download latest file and then save it where you'd like however we're also going to need an economy plugin and this is so that we can actually have money in the game so in order for an economy plugin to work we're going to have to use another plugin called vault i'll leave a link to vault in the description as well and once again we're going to click download latest file so now we have vault downloaded we need to get an economy plugin i would personally recommend essentials x as essentials has a ton more than just economy so i would personally use it myself in my own minecraft servers so you want to go to core and then click download so now we have all our plugins downloaded now we need to upload them to our server so if we go to our servers panel we can then go to the left to the file manager and then scroll down to our plugins folder in here we'll then click upload and then we can select our three jar files we we'll then click open and they'll start uploading. Now they've all installed, we're going to restart our server. All right, so our server is now restarted, meaning that we can now go into our server. All right, so first I'm going to demonstrate how these work and then we'll get right into how to do it. There are chapters in the video if you do want to skip ahead. So as you can see, I can buy 64 emeralds for 15 and then sell them back for 7. If we are to right click the chest to buy, as you can see, you cannot trade with shops that you have access to. And that is because I'm an op. So we actually need to go into the config and change this. So once again in the file manager go back to the plugins folder and then go to the chest shop folder we can then go into config.yml if we go to line 29 here we can see ignore access perms true so if we change this to false it means that anyone no matter their permissions will be able to trade with the chest apart from the person who has made it and unfortunately if you did make the chest there is actually no way that you can buy or sell from it unless it is an admin shop but we'll get into that later so we'll click save and then we're going to restart our server once again and then if we right click on this chest we should be able to buy five grass blocks for $1.5. If we then right click, it says you don't have enough money. However, if we do slash eco and then your username, you can actually give yourself some money. You can put pretty much any amount you want, but for this, I'm going to give myself $1,000. So now $1,000 has been added to my account. So now if I am to buy five grass blocks, as you can see, I've bought five grass blocks for $1.50. And let's do this nine more times. So now I've bought 50 grass blocks. So we should have lost $15. If we do slash bow, short for balance, as you can see, we have correctly gone down $15. So there you go. Also, if you hold out the item, you can left click on the chest to sell it back. So right here, we have the sell price of $1. So if we sell it back, it will sell five at a time and then there we go now these chests are essentially the same thing just with bigger amounts of items and money now one thing you need to make sure is that the chests are actually stocked so if we take the grass out of this chest and we try to buy some as you can see this shop is out of stock and how you stock the chest is really simple you just put the item in what you could also do if the chest is empty you can actually still sell it to the chest if we left click with the item as you can see we're selling five grass blocks to the chest and if we look inside the chest as you can see there's now blocks in it which we can then buy from the sign for the chest can also be placed pretty much anywhere as long as it is one block away from the chest so you can do this in front on the sides or on top of the chest and then next we have admin shops now you may notice the admin shop actually has no chest and that's because the admin shop can actually sell unlimited of the item so now let's get into actually making these chests so let's just start with a normal chest you can then put the sign pretty much anywhere you want I'm going to put it on the front because I think it looks best like that. In the sign, we're going to leave the first bar blank and go straight on to the second one. And this is where you'll put the amount that you want to sell. So let's say we wanted to sell 10 of an item. We put 10 right there. Then if you go to the next line, we then want to put a capital B, put a space, and then put the buy price. So for example, we'll put this at, we'll put it at 50 for this example. Then you're going to do another space and then a colon, another space, and then you're going to put your sell price so people can sell it to the chest for let's say $30 then put another space and then put an S for sell then put another line and then we can actually put the item that we want to sell if you're not sure what you want to sell yet you can put a question mark and then if we click done as you can see the chest has been made it's put in my name automatically and it's not actually sure what we're selling however if we get out something for example let's just grab some amethyst shards if we then right click on the sign, as you can see, it's changed the sign to Amethyst Shard. And then if we put these in, so now let's move on to admin shops. So we're going to make an admin shop here. And what we're actually going to do 
is on the first line, we're going to type admin shop. Pretty simple. You can actually change what this is like. So if you go into the config files, if we scroll down, you can see admin shop name. And currently it is admin shop, meaning that we have to write admin shop at the top of the sign. However, you can change this to anything you'd like. But I'm actually going to leave my admin shop, then put the amount of the item. So you can actually do more than a stack. I'm going to put 100 for this. Then the buy price, you already know how to do this. So we're going to put 20 for the buy price. And then for the sell price, we'll put 12. And then we're simply going to put dirt. So now we've created a shop, which will sell you 100 dirt for $20. Now, because it's an admin shop, I can actually access it myself. So if we give ourselves a bit more money, because I literally have nothing right now, if we give ourselves the $1,000, we can go ahead and buy 100 dirt which is of course that exact amount or twenty dollars and then we can set it back a hundred dirt at a time for twelve dollars and if we deop ourselves you can actually still use them even though it's called an admin shop it just means that it has been made by an admin so admin shops can be used by anyone and that is how you make an admin shop so if this video has been helpful definitely leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time